Good morning, everyone. Tank Masters is at it again. Cleaning up Mother Nature one tank at a time. Just had to plow out this driveway here for the homeowner. Nice couple. We've done work for them previously. The 550 gallon tank underground, under asphalt. Easy job. Anytime uh, the tank sits like this, homeowner really doesn't know how it lies or where it lies to fill. That's the vent back there. Traditionally, the fill is gonna be eight inches off the end of the end cap. So considering it's six feet long, probably runs down in here. So we'll remove those rocks. We'll get our demo saw, we'll cut an area right there. So there's a nice clean cut for when they replace it. We'll dig it right back into the Mason dump truck, the overburden, and we'll do our work and backfill from here. So this is considered a very easy job. Just something to look for anytime you've got a fill pipe coming up out of the ground in or about near your driveway. Possibly going to have the plow truck hit it. So you may want to put something up in front of it or actually tape one of those flags right to it. Uh, because over a period of time, you're never going to really know this is going to happen. It breaks. It's no longer in. So now any water, surface rain that comes in goes right down inside that tank. Water is heavier than fuel, so it sits at the bottom of the tank in that little channel and starts to rust from the inside out, and you never know this. So if you're a homeowner and you've got a tank close or in about an asphalt area and you're wondering how much he's got to get disturbed, this tank we feel starts here and runs that way. That's going to be six feet long. It's a 48 inch diameter, so in order to minimize the amount that you dig up this is what you'll need since this is a four foot diameter the center of that brings it to 24 inches right here so here's where the tank will end because i have a 22 inch bucket you're gonna have to demo saw right here at 47 inches so we'll put we'll just mark that 47 That is about eight to 10 inches off the end. Taking six feet, six inches long, which takes me to right about here. And then we'll come out to here. So it's gonna be right close. So here's our point, right where we're gonna stop cutting with the demo. And we'll just use this tape as guidelines. But that's the area that's going to have to get excavated. And you'll see in a minute that it turned out perfectly. Okay, so we've got our areas marked out where we're going to demo saw cut. Um, but before you put a bucket in the ground, you obviously you get an 811 dig for any underground lines. Uh, many times people have personal uh, underground lines. So since this is our area, we'll now want to go inside the house in or about to that window and just make sure nothing is coming out through the foundation in this direction uh, before we start to dig. But now we're going to start to demo saw cut this asphalt. So special orders, don't upset us here at Tank Masters. Homeowners, elderly couple, talking about hiring a contractor to repair that. We can do that too, folks. So we'll get some screws, screw that up, and we'll caulk the top so no water gets between it.
excavated down, uh, we were correct on the end of the tank here. Uh, but the tank has a seam in the middle of it. And when that happens, that means it's a 1,000 gallon tank because that's how they made 1,000 gallon tanks. They welded two 550s together. So we just noticed there's a seam. So now we've got to pull everything back and saw cut another five feet. So we just extended the saw cut and we will continue the tank removal. All right, we've excavated as little as possible, but still in order to get that tank out, there's about five tons of overburden there. We've got about another three and a half, four tons right here get that to a point where we can pop it out. So Mike's cleaning the top right now. We'll sawzall our opening, clean it, and then pull it out. So the tank's up and out of the ground. It's got a lot of rust and corrosion on it. So before I bring it over, let's have Craig clean it off a little bit. We'll take a scoop down at the bottom. Do a field screening on it. Make sure that there's no environmental impact. Everything here is sweeped up. Homeowner is very happy. She didn't have as good of luck on the previous job. It's all compacted in lifts. Threw away all those rocks they didn't want it. Got that board back up there. Another happy customer. Another fun job by Tank Masters Environment.